Hi, Alex Forte here, the art of simple golf. I am a, on a quick pit stop in the UK and I caught up with my buddy here, Alistair Davis. Now we have a really cool lesson for you and it's about head movement, right? And what you see a lot of times and what I see is golfers basically keeping their head down and it just kills so many aspects of the golf swing, right? What, what problems is keeping the head down and keeping the chest down just how does that disconnect us? How does that kill consistency, power, and all that? Well, all of those really, but the main thing for me is when you keep your head down too long, it really restricts you to transfer your energy into the golf ball and beyond. Yeah. And it also makes your radius of your golf swing shorten, which affects contact massively. So the guys are the kind of top of the ball and then get scared and think, okay, I need to keep my head down longer. And the buddies are all saying to them, you lifted your head. So it's actually compounding the issue. So when you say the radius, what do you mean on that? Well, if you imagine if you have your radius at the start of your golf swing from kind of your left shoulder to the club head, and it's obviously resting on against the floor, if my radius was to shorten by my arms yeah. bending, the club then raises up from the ground. Well, we've changed from, like, we're starting out in this position. So as soon as you alter that, even by, I mean, like a centimeter, your, your shots are affected drastically, aren't they? Obviously, you could bend over more when you're swinging and make that radius back up. Someone like Lee West would kind of do that. His arm bends. Well, we all, as kind of humans, adjust to our task a little bit, don't we? But when we have these overcompensations, it makes it harder to repeat, especially if you're not practicing six hours a day. Yeah. yeah. So what, what we tend to see a lot in the lesson tee and on, on, you know, obviously with golfers on the golf course is when they keep their head down too long, these arms then have to bend. Yeah. because obviously there's no room for them and the body's not rotating and when the body stops rotating the hands then become more active okay. because the acceleration passes through to the next link in the chain so we get a lot of what i call club head throw away and a lot of excessive wrist extension which gives us very poor control of the club head okay. from the point of view of a good player it's element like and your kind of golf swing if you look at that right. and then from the higher handicap situation obviously if the head stays down too long we don't transfer the weight forward so our low point of our golf swing tends to be either too early or we lose the radius either okay. one of those two scenarios all right so inconsistency and crap shots basically yes all right so what can we do to what what, what drill, what are we looking for instead to sort of keep that radius going? Okay. One of the things I like to tell people to do is actually use their tops, the zips or buttons on the top if yeah. they have such a thing. In your case, you have a zip, which is perfect. I like to get them to feel that their chin and zip kind of mirror each other. So when they're hitting the golf shot, <clears throat> if I stand to the side here, as I'm swinging through, I want to try and get my chin and zip to match each other and marry each other during the shot. So the drill would be a kind of half-powered swing and try and get the chin and zip to follow As if other. they're connected. As if they're connected. And they're All moving right. at the same pace so, and time. So you, we, instead of being like here where we've got separation, yeah. and this is something I do, and it's something you've kind of discussed with me, it's like, I don't know why I do it, but it's something I do. Maybe it comes from tennis a little bit, but I, even with tennis, I would have sort of stood up. So I still think it comes from the 